Hello food tubers, my name's Gil Meller. I'm here at Oxwich Point on the uh, Gower Peninsula, a fantastic part of South Wales. Andrew, hello. Nice to meet you. Andrew's going to be taking me out, he's a local forager. We're going to be looking for mussels down this coastline. We're going to be cooking a beautiful mussel periwinkle and bacon stew. Sounds good. So let's go. The reason I've come out today with Andrew is because he's an expert local forager. He knows the area, he knows the types of seaweeds that are growing, and he knows exactly what's safe to eat and what's not. Perfectly fresh mussels. Right. They should be completely closed like that. If they are, they're good. The seafood on the Gower Peninsula is absolutely amazing. Quality of the water is very important, crystal clear. The mussels grow because they're taking in all the algae from the water, filtering it, and that's what makes them taste so good. Well, there's some pepper dolls here we can have a look at which is one of my favourite seaweeds actually. In terms of flavour, I think you'd be hard pushed to find the seaweed with more flavour really? than this. Can that be eaten more? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, truffle-like, truffle isn't it? Yeah. Instantly truffle. It really is. These little sea snails are actually periwinkles. Quickly cooked and taken out with a little stick. Yeah, in your mouth. just a thorn or a pin. Yeah. Okay, so we've only been out about half an hour and we've already got half a pot full of goodies. Periwinkles, mussels and pepper dolls. Not bad, is it, for Mate. just a short bit of uh, foraging? So I'm sat here in this amazing patch of woodland. Got a lovely fire in front of me. This is an amazing spot. Right, so down here I've got a bowl of mussels. Wild mussels have quite a lot of barnacles on them. They need to be scraped off because they're actually living organisms. When you cook your mussels, the barnacles fall off into the, into the base of your pan. All you want to do is take the back of the knife and just scrape them off. Any stubborn ones, you can give a little tap like this, and they should just fall off. The periwinkles are just going to need a quick wash, so they can be added to the mussels. And then the pepper dulse, which has that wonderful truffly flavour, will wash separately. That's actually going to be a garnish for the dish, so we're not going to cook it along with the, the rest of the, the stuff. It's really important that they have a thoroughly good clean. So we're taking one onion, peeled and thinly sliced, take a couple of cloves of garlic, and then just here we've got some lovely bacon. Local Welsh smoked bacon, four or five rashers, and just roughly chop them up. 15 grams of butter. Butter goes in, and then this lovely smoked bacon goes straight on top of that. Move those around. I think it's nice to add the bacon first because you get the pork fat rendering through. You want to see a little bit of colour on it, just starting to crisp up around the edges before you add the garlic and the onions. You want them to soften down quite quickly. Start to move those around. So that's looking really good. It's smelling absolutely amazing. We're probably ready to put the mussels and periwinkles in now. Pinch of salt, good pinch of black pepper. Tend to do it by hand instead of chucking them all in because there can be a little bit of grit at the bottom. Pan's lovely and hot, so as soon as the mussels and periwinkles go in, give them a good stir. So this is the point that you want to add your wine or your cider, or in this case, beer a lovely uh, Welsh light ale. I went and picked it up from a, a microbrewery just down the road actually, and this one stood out actually, perfect for this kind of dish. It's got a, a light, delicate flavour, not too deep, not too rich. The mussels will come through, and it'll work very well. So we want a good, healthy glass of the beer. These mussels are gonna be ready in about two minutes max. Check them after one. If they're all open, straight out of the pan and into bowls. Wow, yeah, they are looking good. 30 seconds more and these are gonna be ready. Just right now is the point where the dulse goes in. And I'm gonna just put a good old pinch in, because it's very strong, don't want it to overpower the dish. And that'll just soften and perfume the mussels for those last few seconds of cooking.
Looking good. Super. Wow, something smells hey, good. <laughs> They're just, just beautiful. They're looking quite meaty, aren't they? They're looking great. Lovely okay. deep yellow colour. It's always nice in the mussels. Exactly what we're looking for. A bit of smoked bacon, a little bit of garlic. So these mussels and periwinkles are looking absolutely delicious. If you're interested in cooking more recipes like this, then check out the River Cottage channel. There's loads of recipes on there, loads of lovely things. Should we try these? I think we should. The great thing about mussels is they come with their own little serving spoon. It's fantastic. I like that. I like that. Very nice. Full you of flavour. You get that subtle flavour of the, the pepper dulse as well. Yeah comes through, that kind of earthiness. It does. What a wonderful forage plate of food. Mm. Well, those mussels are absolutely delicious. If you like the recipe, please like the video, leave any comments down below. And if you'd like to see more of this stuff, then subscribe to the FoodTube channel. Thanks very much and see you later.